Hi, Mr. Unger here, and I'm making another video on extending geometric sequences. So I'm looking at uh, some geometric sequences I made myself, and the way you make a geometric sequence is you take a number and you multiply it by another number to get your next number, and you keep doing that. So in this first one, and and this is for someone, um, you might have an assignment where you have to figure out the next number in the sequence, okay? So you have to figure out what I'm multiplying the previous number by. And an easy way to do that is to take the second number and divide it by the first. So if we do that for this first one, seven divided by one, by one is gonna be seven. So we're multiplying each time, each time we go from the one number to the next number, we're gonna multiply by seven. So really, you have to do 49 multiplied by 7. I've got a little calculator here, so let's take that. You could maybe do it in your head, too. 49 times 7. That's going to be 343. So our next number is going to be 343. Okay, let me fix that um, first 3. The next number is 343. It's a sad looking 343, but that's that's the next number in the sequence. Okay, now in this next one, if we take 3 eighths and divide it by 3 fourths, I'm really not that great at this tool. Uh, let me just fix that up a little bit. Well, when you're dividing fractions, it's like multiplying by the, the reciprocal of this one. So it's really 3 eighths times 4 thirds. And so we're going to get, if we just multiply that straight across, we're going to get 12 24ths which we can simplify to one half. So we're multiplying each time as we go from one number to the next number, we're multiplying by one half. Okay, so 3 sixteenths times 1 half. Well, the top is 3 times 1, so that's going to be 3. And then the bottom is going to be 16 times 2, so that's going to be 32. So our next solution is 3 30 seconds. Okay, this next one gets a little different. So from 4 to negative 2, negative 2 to positive 1. So that's interesting. So if we divide the second number, negative 2, divide it. I'm going to write it as a fraction. Negative 2 divided by 4. Well, that's really negative 1 half. So we are multiplying by negative 1 half each time. Let me fix that uh, 4 there. It's a, it's a sad looking 4. That four looks a little bit better. All right, so each time we're multiplying by negative one half. Okay, so one times negative one half is just negative one half. So negative one half is our next number in this sequence. Okay, uh, and then we look at this one. We go from two to eight. And 8 to 32. So let's do it again. We'll divide 8 by 2. I like to sometimes write it as a fraction. 8 divided by 2 is going to be 4. So we're multiplying by 4 each time. And so we're going to do 32 times 4. So again, you take out a handy calculator. 32 times 4. It's going to be 128. So 128 is our next number. Okay. 
Okay, and so that's that's the key for extending a geometric sequence. You just have to figure out what you're multiplying uh, the subsequent number by to get the next number, and um, and you just take the last number in that sequence and then multiply it by whatever factor you're multiplying each number by to get the next number, and you'll get the next number. It's uh, pretty straightforward, um, but if you do have any questions, please leave a question in the comments below. Um, and thank you for watching. Have a great day.